Um, what's your favorite part of playing the Uh, it's, you know, there's something about being able to let little, little, to let kids know that they can also do what they've always wanted. If the, if the ten-year-old version of me could talk to the now version of me, I'd be like, don't worry, kid. Just wait a couple of years, wait a decade or so, and you will be able to be on all those shows you love. I mean, I was growing up and watching Doug and watching you know, uh, uh, Drake and Josh and stuff like that, and wanting to do that, and maybe feeling like oh, I had to finish school and I had to do all those things, and I did it all for them, and then finally came out here. And yeah, just wait up, kid. You can do it. <laughs> Um, which episode of Big Time Rush is your favorite and why? Oh. I really like... I like Big Time Fever. It's pretty funny. I like getting to, like, uh, work with Logan. Logan is really funny. Logan is really, really funny. Like, on set, he'll just... He'll make you laugh. He'll, he'll mess up shots making people laugh at <laughs> Um, but no, he's, he's really funny. And, and I... I Got to kind of have that exchange where I turned him into a hippie, and it was it was really hilarious. I, I liked the be the beach episode too. Though. The beach was awesome, just because we got to like film in Malibu for a week, and that's. <laughs> and Russell Brandt was awesome, you know. And now they have all this street cred working with Snoop Dogg, too cool for school and everything. But hey, that's what happens. That's what happens when you play in the big leagues. <laughs> Uh, what's it like working with Big Time Rush? Oh, well, you know, like I said, the guys are very fun. They're great to work with. They've really um, bonded over the last few years, which is cool. It hasn't become like bickering. I think they really are four great guys that really appreciate the opportunity they've been given. And it is, you know, like we were just saying, it's, it's kind of like reality following fantasy, a fantasy following reality, however you want to say it, but in, in a more over-embellished version. It's, uh, you know, these four guys really have gotten a big break doing this show and getting to prove their mettle. And, you know, it's not a big budget thing. We're not putting, like, street cones out to stop traffic. We're not like that here at Big Time Rush. <laughs> Low key. No, they're they're uh, they're great. They they all feel very fortunate to be in the position that they are, and they all you know have moved from their homes sometimes and their families and are out here doing. You know, Logan Logan's from Texas, and I, I I'm from Texas as well originally. And um, you know, he's he's younger than I am, and I can just imagine what you know. I mean. He has full support of his parents, and you know he's doing it, and he's, I mean, they're all the types of guys that'll, you know, take care of the folks, and stay really family-oriented, and those are, those are the things you want to see in your friends, and you want to see your friends become successful. It's not frequent enough that people appreciate their friend's success. I mean, it's great to, you know, tell people that you're doing well and everything, but it's another thing to really, really good that your friends are out there and doing it. I mean, I guess you're doing a fantastic job. Not everybody would be out there interviewing the folks on Big Time Rush. It's a lot of initiative you're taking. And I appreciate it. And you should too. <laughs>